welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing NVIDIA. So I called the 575 calls uh, on the options newsletter in this stock. Look at the volume in this today. Uh, that expire next week. Obviously it worked. It went through the number and I said 600 um, for a target for this. Let's just see where this got to. It almost got to 600 um, even here in the after hours. I'm just looking. Uh, but again, if this had gone yesterday, which it didn't, it would have gone to 600 by today, would have gone through 600 today. So I always tell people, risk the amount of money that you can let the trade play out. Now, NVIDIA is expensive. It's always expensive. It's been expensive. I looked at this, I don't know how many times in the last month. And then I said, it's going to go here. And then I didn't do it. And then I said, it's going to go here, and I didn't do it. And I kept saying to myself, it's too late, it's too late, it's too late. And I just finally just said, screw it. And we did it. And we did it yesterday. And I knew it wasn't too late, because yesterday I knew it was going to 600. So anyways, it did drop back, though. Called the trade in the pre-market, opened at 572.60, dropped, fell all the way down to 561 and changed, and then gapped up today and took off. Did this go today because of the market? No, this would have gone anyways. And in fact, this could have actually helped to lift the market today and probably did. Uh, but a stock like this, you really got to know what you're doing with it. It's wild. It's woolly. It's volatile. Uh, somebody in a webinar about over a week ago was talking about asking me where to short NVIDIA. At first, I thought he was in it short or was going to do it short or was doing it short. And then he said he wanted to know where to do it short. And I said, nowhere. You're never shorting this again. And that's basically <laughs> basically how you have to look at it you know what i'm saying because you, you, i mean people did short this <laughs> i mean and they got run over today yesterday last week people kept saying it's not going to keep going it's not going to keep going it's extended they didn't get the bullish move they didn't get the rally and they tried to short it and they lost and is that what pushed the stock higher maybe a little bit but in the end of the day, the stock got bought and was getting bought and is getting bought with institutional money, which is why this was a long, which is why we went long this today. And again, I could have gotten in this so early. I could have gotten in this way days ago, but we had other trades that I was focusing on. And you can't get everything. You can't. You got to pick and choose what to do. And the number one trade we've had this, this year so far has been BA and Tesla. And they were shorts. But Nvidia was right there, right smack dab in my face yesterday. And I said, I'm not going to not do this this time and so i sent the trade early in the pre-market because i'm a stickler for getting not just the right pick but trying to get the best entry i can so in this particular position again the 575 calls that expire next next week i got i got a good entry because we would have done something way different with a different strike and a different expiration if we have done it last week or the week before anyways Nice day for the market if you are have longs, if you're in your retirement account, and a great day for NVIDIA. And again, a good chart to study. What institutional money looks like. Again, this was getting bought. I will go long, even though I prefer to short. We went long this, we went long AMD. You could have gone long other things today. They weren't as good. So I try to really hone down on the best, best, best possible thing and the best pick. I'm happy that this worked and it went today. It could have taken another day or two. This would have gone anyways, though, is what I'm trying to say. Regardless of the market, it would have gone. So, you know, this is one of these things that's on its own without the market. It's been on its own without the market and will continue to be for the foreseeable future. But I, I caution people, like I said, for the other gentleman who asked me the questions about where to shorten a video, that shouldn't even be in your mind because you want to take trades. If you're an active trader, if you're a day trader, if you're an options trader, you got to get the move right now. Don't worry about what could happen. The sun could come out tomorrow and melt all the snow. The, I, don't, I don't think that's going to happen. It's 17 degrees here. So again, don't worry about this thing, that thing, a million possibilities in the future. Make money right now. Make money today. Make money next week. Focus on what the opportunities are that you're being given by the market at this juncture today because they're there. This was one of them. There were other things that we've taken advantage of this week as well in this year. So don't worry about the maybes or the possibilities of something that may never happen. And that's really how you have to look at something like this because this is just screaming higher like a banshee and people did short it and they got pummeled through. So I don't do gap fills. I've never done them. They do not work consistently and make money. While once in a blue moon, something could do what you call fill a gap 
it doesn't work consistently as a method to train. So you can't take every gap in the direction of the gap, that's true, but you can't reverse every gap in the direction of the gap as well. You have to qualify the gap. And that's the whole point of the rating system. That's the whole point of everything I do in the pre-market and the work. I get up early in the morning, I was up early today. It's freezing. I'm getting up in the morning when it's dark out still. And I scan for gaps and then rate the gaps to find the best thing to trade. That's what I did yesterday. That's how I found this. So the pre-work is where I'm making the picks using the 26 points. That's what tells me that I can take the gap in the direction of the cap and that I will have a big move, whether it's a long or a short. But this was a long. So again, people want to do everything and just look at everything black and white. You can't. You can't. It's not like that. There's, there's a method to what I do. And that's the point of learning it. And that's the point of understanding it. And again, it's the 26 points. And that is what I teach in the Golden Gap course. So if you want to take the class, if you want to learn, next weekend is your opportunity, the 27th to 28th of January. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great weekend, everybody. Stay warm.